This is uh, Robbie Canal, renowned street artist doing uh, postering of uh, political figures. And he does Bush and Condoleezza Rice and Rumsfeld. And, but he does have three positive posters. Uh, one of Gandhi, one of uh, Martin Luther King, and one of the Dalai Lama. And we've asked him, and he's volunteered, to put those three and express his art on the LAFCO van right before we take off uh, for on our, on our big uh, cross-country tour. We're here anxiously awaiting his arrival. Robbie Canal, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you. Nice to see you. You have an Arnold poster right now out, don't you? Uh, well, I have. I did one, and he's going to run again, so I'm going to run right up his butt. I think what, do you, what do you think of Arnold? Uber ambitious Austrian bodybuilder, you know, full of every steroid he could possibly take, and his idea of success is coming to America, you know, being a big star, fucking a Kennedy, you know, and um, taking over the world. But we're talking about Arnold because Arnold, we're right at the Rose Cafe parking lot, and Arnold had an office right in the gas company here. The, one of the very few places you could get my posters and actually pay for them was at the Rose Cafe. Arnold would come over, you know, with his cigar, his Cuban cigar, and his boys, and all that. Go, well, I don't like this poster here. Contradiction, oh. He didn't like it. And he started complaining to the Rose Cafe. Well, I'm not, I'm telling everybody not to come in here, you know, because I, I am only interested in very powerful people, dictators and things like that, which is a direct quote from Pumping Iron. And uh, he basically intimidated them into not carrying my posters. So we have a history. I'm not here to make money. I'm here to get even. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Dynamite. Gandhi, the Dalai Lama, Martin Luther King, the whole idea was, you know, 9-11, it was after 9-11, and that was a terrible tragedy, and I'm from New York, so it's like my, my neighborhood, and um, it was terrible, and, I, and our response to it was terrible. You know, our government kind of, I think, maybe overreacted just a little bit, like bombed the shit out of these people for the, you know, uh, for the second time. Uh, go halfway across the world, spend billions and billions of dollars, send young people, rip people out of their homes, you know, send the National Guard, all these people, and um, not to mention what they did to the Iraqis, and uh, and then declare, you know, a worldwide perpetual war on terror so that uh, they can do whatever they want because it's wartime conditions and the executive branch gets more power, blah, blah, blah. I think that's a little bit of an overreaction. So I thought, wouldn't it be cool, karmically speaking, um, if we had Gandhi, the Dalai Lama, Martin Luther King, kind of peaceful warriors, people who made social and political change by nonviolent methods, were looking at us on the streets going, what the hell are you doing? And what do the words mean on it? Well, that Gandhi is watching us, you know, like, so shape up and the Dalai Lama's waiting around for us to get a little hipper. Martin's still dreaming, still dreaming of nonviolent ways to make social and political change. I've been charged so much money by the city of Los Angeles, I could have my own street named after me, you know, like, but I'm not allowed to pay. What do you mean you're not allowed to well, pay? Well, it would set a bad precedent. Wait, so what happens? If you get ch fined and you don't pay, what happens? That's what we're waiting to find out all these years. It's not just art about politics, it is politics. Doing it is a political act. The city made a mistake once and told a, uh, a Metro reporter that they were gonna call me in for an administrative hearing to talk about the posters and basically, you know, like, spank me. And um, 
he put it in the paper that it was going to happen, and like 200 people showed up at you know at City Hall, saying you know like, what are you doing? What are you doing? You know like, we're watching you, we're waiting, we're dreaming that you will like get hip. Usually it's just like a joke to get people thinking along with me about issues that are important. Katrina, maybe, you know, like the federal government's response to Katrina, or uh, Dick Cheney, you know, who's an abomination and thinks we're abomination, um, stuff like that. So, uh, you know, who's the bad guy? Roger, how would you feel if he was uh, putting up posters on your buildings? Well, I'm ready to start shooting. If anybody's got any ideas other than what Robbie's doing, you just better get ready for the bullet. But you don't I'm ready to sit on a fucking rooftop and shoot the leg first. This is a warning. They're don't. love bullets. They're love. No, bullets. they aren't. They're pissed off bullets. They have no hate, no love. They have nothing.